Amitabhite Bachchan, Wikipedia article audio. Amitabhite Bachchan, born October 11, 1942 is an Indian film actor, producer, television host, and former politician. He first gained popularity in the early 1970s for films such as Zanjir, Diwar, and Sholati, and was dubbed India's angry young man for his on-screen roles in Bollywood. Referred to as the Shahen Shah of Bollywood, star of the millennium, or Big B, he has since appeared in over 190 Indian films in a career spanning almost five decades. Bachchan is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential actors in the history of Indian cinema as well as world cinema. So total was his dominance on the Indian movie scene in the 1970s and 1980s that the French director François Truffaut called him a one-man industry. Bachchan has won numerous accolades in his career including four national film awards as Best Actor and many awards at international film festivals and award ceremonies. He has won 15 Filmfare Awards and is the most nominated performer in any major acting category at Filmfare, with 41 nominations overall. In addition to acting, Bachchan has worked as a playback singer, film producer, and television presenter. He has hosted several seasons of the game show, Kaun Baini Gakroor Patti, India's version of the game show franchise, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. He also had a stint in politics in the 1980s. Early Life and Family Acting Career The Government of India honoured him with the Padma Shri in 1984 the Padma Bhushan in 2001 and the Padma Vibhushan in 2015 for his contributions to the arts. The Government of France honoured him with its highest civilian honour, Knight of the Legion of Honour, in 2007 for his exceptional career in the world of cinema and beyond. Bachchan also made an appearance in a Hollywood film, Baz Luhrmann s The Great Gatsby, in which he played a non-Indian Jewish character, Meyer Wolfsheim. Bachchan was born in Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh, in north-central India. His ancestors on his father's side hailed from a village called Babu Pati, in the Ranaganjay Tessel, in the Pratapgarh district, in the present-day state of Uttar Pradesh, in India. His father Hayavantrai Bachchan, was a well-known Awadi dialect, Hindi poet and a Hindu, while his mother, T.G. Bachchan, was Sikh. Bachchan was initially named Inqilab, inspired by the phrase Inqilab Zindabad popularly used during the Indian independence struggle. In English, Inqilab Zindabad means long live the revolution. However, at the suggestion of fellow poet Sumitranandan Pant, Haivantrai changed the boy's name to Amitabhite, which, according to a Times of India article, means the light that will never die. Although his surname was Srivastava, Amitabhita's father had adopted the pen name Bachchan, under which he published all of his works. It is with this last name that Amitabhite debuted in films and for all other practical purposes, Bachchan has become the surname for all of his immediate family. Bachchan's father died in 2003, and his mother in 2007. Bachchan is an alumnus of Sherwood College, Nainital. He later attended Kiri Mal College, University of Delhi. He has a younger brother, a Jaitabite. His mother had a keen interest in theatre and was offered a feature film role, but she preferred her domestic duties. T.G. had some influence in Amitabhite Bachchan's choice of career because she always insisted that he should take the centre stage. The actor who Bachchan credits as having the biggest impact on him was Dilip Kumar. In particular, 
Bachchan says he learned more about acting from Kumar's Gunga Jumna than he did from any other film. Bachchan was particularly impressed by Kumar's mastery of Awadi, expressing awe and surprise as to how a man who's not from Allahabad and Uttar Pradesh could accurately express all the nuances of Awadi. Bachchan adapted Kumar's style, reinterpreting it in a contemporary urban context, adopting some of Kumar's method acting, and sharpening the intensity, resulting in his famous angry young man persona. Bachchan is married to actress Jaya Baduri. The couple have two children, Shweta Bachchan and Abhishek Bachchan. Early Career Bachchan made his film debut in 1969 as a voice narrator in Renal Sen's national award-winning film Bhavan S. Home. His first acting role was as one of the seven protagonists in the film Sat Hindustani, directed by Khwaja Ahmed Abbas and featuring Utpal Dutt, Anwar Ali, Madhu, and Jalil Aga. Anand followed, in which Bachchan starred alongside Rajesh Khanna. His role as a doctor with a cynical view of life garnered Bachchan his first Filmfare Best Supporting Actor award. He then played his first antagonist role as an infatuated lover turned murderer in Purwena. Following Purwena were several films including Rishma or Shara. During this time, he made a guest appearance in the film Gutty which starred his future wife Jaya Baduri. He narrated part of the film Ba Warki. In 1972 he made an appearance in the road action comedy Bombay to Goa directed by S. Ramanathan which was moderately successful. Many of Bachchan's films during this early period did not do well, but that was about to change. Rise to Stardom Bachchan was struggling, seen as a failed newcomer who, by the age of 30, had 12 flops and only two hits. Bachchan was soon discovered by screenwriter duo Salim Javed, consisting of Salim Khan and Javed Actor. Salim Khan wrote the story, screenplay, and script of Zanjir, and conceived the angry young man persona of the lead role. Javed Actor came on board as CEO writer, and Prakash Mehra who saw the script as potentially groundbreaking, as the film's director. However, they were struggling to find an actor for the lead angry young man role, which was turned down by a number of actors due to it going against the romantic hero image dominant in the industry at the time. Salim Javed soon discovered Bachchan and saw his talent, which most makers didn't. He was exceptional a genius actor who was in films that weren't good. According to Salim Khan, they strongly felt that Amitabite was the ideal casting for Zanjir. Salim Khan introduced Bachchan to Prakash Mehra, and Salim Javed insisted that Bachchan be cast for the role. Zanjir was a crime film with violent action, in sharp contrast to the romantically themed films that had generally preceded it, and it established Amitabhite in a new persona the angry young man of Bollywood cinema. He earned his first Filmfare Award nomination for Best Actor, with Filmfare later considering this one of the most iconic performances of Bollywood history. The film was a huge success and one of the highest grossing films of that year breaking Bachchan's dry spell at the box office and making him a star. It was the first of many collaborations between Salim Javed and Amitabhite Bachchan. Salim Javed wrote many of their subsequent scripts with Bachchan in mind for the lead role, and insisted on him being cast for their later films, including blockbusters such as Diwar and Sholi. Salim Khan also introduced Bachchan to director Manmohan Desai with whom he formed a long and successful association, alongside Prakash Mehra and Yash Chopra. Eventually, Bachchan became one of the most successful leading men of the film industry. 
Bastion's portrayal of the wronged hero fighting a crooked system in circumstances of deprivation in films like Zanjir, Dewar, Trishal, Kaalapathar, Shakti, resonated with the masses of the time, especially the youth who harbored a simmering discontent owing to social ills like poverty, hunger, unemployment, corruption, social inequality, and the brutal excesses of the emergency. This led to Bastian being dubbed as Angry Young Man, a journalistic catchphrase which became a metaphor for the dormant rage, frustration, restlessness, sense of rebellion and anti-establishment disposition of an entire generation, prevalent in 70s India. The year 1973 was also when he married Jaya, and around this time they appeared in several films together not only in Zanjir but in films such as Abhiman which followed and was released only a month after their marriage and was also successful at the box office. Later, Bachchan played the role of Vikram, once again along with Rajesh Khanna, in the film Namak Haram, a social drama directed by Hrishikesh Mukherjee and scripted by Virish Chaturjee addressing themes of friendship. His supporting role won him his second Filmfare Best Supporting Actor Award. Superstardom In 1974, Bachchan made several guest appearances in films such as Kun Wera Bape and Dust, before playing a supporting role in Roti Kapta or Makan. The film, directed and written by Manoj Kumar, addressed themes of honesty in the face of oppression and financial and emotional hardship and was the top-earning film of 1974. Bachchan then played the leading role in the film Mehbur, released on December 6, 1974, which was a remake of the Hollywood film Zigzag. The film was a success at the box office. Cooley Injury in 1975, he starred in a variety of film genres, from the comedy Chupka Chupka and the crime drama Farrar to the romantic drama Mealy. 1975 was also the year when Bachchan starred in two films regarded as important in Hindi cinema history, both written by Salim Javed, who again insisted on casting Bachchan. The first was Diwar directed by Yash Chopra, where he worked with Shashi Kapoor, Neera Paroy, Parveen Babi, and Nito Singh, and earned another Filmfare nomination for Best Actor. The film became a major hit at the box office in 1975, ranking in at number 4. In Diwar, a contemporary urban reinterpretation of Dilip Kumar's Gunga Jumna as well as Murbub Khan's Mother India, Bachchan sharpened and reinterpreted Dilip Kumar's intensity as Gunga in a contemporary urban context reflecting the changing socio-political climate of 1970s India. India Times Movies ranks Diwar amongst the top 25 must-see Bollywood films. The other, released on August 15, 1975, was Sholai which became the highest-grossing film ever in India at the time, in which Bachchan played the role of Jadav. Diwar and Sholati are often credited with exalting Bachchan to the heights of superstardom, two years after he became a star with Zanjir, and consolidating his domination of the industry throughout the 1970s and 1980s. In 1999, BBC India declared Shola the film of the millennium and, like D. War, it has been cited by India Times Movies as amongst the top 25 must-see Bollywood films. In that same year, the judges of the 50th Annual Filmfare Awards awarded it with the special distinction award called the Filmfare Best Film of 50 Years. Career Decline and Retirement in 1976, he was cast by Yash Chopra in the romantic family drama Cab High Cab High. 
Bachchan starred as a young poet named Amit Malhotra who falls deeply in love with a beautiful young girl named Puja who ends up marrying someone else. The film was notable for portraying Bachchan as a romantic hero, a far cry from his angry young man roles like Zanjir and Dewar. The film evoked a favorable response from critics and audiences alike. Bachchan was again nominated for the Filmfare Best Actor Award for his role in the film. That same year he played a double role in the hit Adelat as father and son. In 1977, he won his first Filmfare Best Actor Award for his performance in Amar Akbar Anthony where he played the third lead opposite Vinod Khanna and Rishi Kapoor as Anthony Gonsalves. The film was the highest grossing film of that year. His other successes that year include Parvarish and Kun Pasina. He once again resumed double roles in films such as Kazma Vaad as Amit and Shankar and Don playing the characters of Don, a leader of an underworld gang and his look-alike Vijay. His performance won him his second Filmfare Best Actor award. He also gave towering performances in Yash Chopra's Trishal and Prakash Mehra's Mukadar Ka Sika and Dar, both of which earned him further Filmfare Best Actor nominations. 1978 is arguably considered his most successful year at the box office since all of his six releases the same year, namely Mukadar Ka Sika and Dar, Trishal, Don, Kazma Vaad. Gunga Ki Sagand and Bisharam were massive successes, the former three being the consecutive highest grossing films of the year, remarkably releasing within a couple of months of each other, a rare feat in Indian cinema. Productions and Acting Comeback In 1979, Bachchan starred in Suag which was the highest earning film of that year. In the same year he also enjoyed critical acclaim and commercial success with films like Mr. Natwarlal, Kaala Pathar, The Great Gambler and Manzil. Amitabhite was required to use his singing voice for the first time in a song from the film Mr. Natwarlal in which he starred with Ray Carr. Bachchan's performance in the film saw him nominated for both the Filmfare Best Actor Award and the Filmfare Award for Best Male Playback Singer. He also received Best Actor nomination for Kaala Pathar and then went on to be nominated again in 1980 for the Raj Khosla directed film Dustana, in which he starred opposite Shetrapan Sinha and Zenit Aman. Dustana proved to be the top-grossing film of 1980. In 1981, he starred in Yash Chopra's melodrama film Silsila, where he starred alongside his wife Jaya and also Ray Carr. Other films of this period like Sean and Shakti which pitted him against the veteran actor Dilip Kumar were not successful at the box office but Ram Bal Ram, Naseeb, Lawaris. Kalya, Yarana, Barsaki E.K. Rate were blockbusters. In 1982 he played double roles in the comedy Sat P.E. Sata and action drama Desh Premi which succeeded at the box office along with mega hits like action comedy Namak Halal, action drama Kuddar and the critically acclaimed drama Be Mysel. In 1983, he played a triple role in Mahan and starred in the top-grossing film of that year, Cooley. Other releases during that year, namely Nastic, and Hakanun were hits and Puker was an average grocer. On July 26, 1982, while filming Cooley, in the university campus in Bangalore, Bachchan suffered a near-fatal intestinal injury during the filming of a fight scene with CO actor Punit Isser. Bachchan was performing his own stunts in the film and one scene required him to fall onto a table and then on the ground. However, as he jumped towards the table, the corner of the table struck his abdomen, resulting in a splenic rupture from which he lost a significant amount of blood. 
he required an emergency splenectomy and remained critically ill in hospital for many months, at times close to death. The overwhelming public response included prayers in temples and offers to sacrifice limbs to save him, while later, there were long queues of well-wishing fans outside the hospital where he was recuperating. Nevertheless, he resumed filming later that year after a long period of recuperation. The film was released in 1983, and partly due to the huge publicity of Bachchan's accident, the film was a box office success and the top grossing film of that year. Return to Prominence The director, Manmohan Desai, altered the ending of Cooley after Bachchan's accident. Bachchan's character was originally intended to have been killed off but after the change of script, the character lived in the end. It would have been inappropriate, said Desai, for the man who had just fended off death in real life to be killed on screen. Also, in the released film the footage of the fight scene is frozen at the critical moment, and a caption appears on screen marking this as the instant of the actor's injury and the ensuing publicity of the accident. Other work Later, he was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis. His illness made him feel weak both mentally and physically and he decided to quit films and venture into politics. At this time he became pessimistic expressing concern with how a new film would be received and stated before every release, yeah film to flop hoagie. Bhavan S. Home, Balika Badhu, Tir Mir Sapni, Hello Brother, Lagan, Parinita, Jodha Akbar, Swami, Zor Lagake, He, R.A. 1, Khani, Karish 3, Mahabharat, Kochadayan, the Ghazi Attack In 1988, Bachchan returned to films, playing the title role in Shehen Shah, which was a box office success. After the success of his comeback film however, his star power began to wane as all of his subsequent films like Jijigar, Tufan and Main Azad Hoon failed at the box office. Successes during this period like the crime drama A.A.J. Ka Arjun and action crime drama Hum, for which he won his third Filmfare Best Actor Award, looked like they might reverse the trend, but this momentum was short-lived and his string of box office failures continued. Notably, despite the lack of hits, it was during this era that Bachchan won his first National Film Award for Best Actor for his performance as a Mafia Don in the 1990 cult film Agnipathy. These years would see his last on-screen appearances for some time. After the release of Kudigawa in 1992, Bachchan went into semi-retirement for five years. With the exception of the delayed release of Insani Yat, which was also a box office failure, Bachchan did not appear in any new releases for five years. Bachchan turned producer during his temporary retirement period, setting up Amitabite Bachchan Corporation, limited in 1996. ABCL's strategy was to introduce products and services covering an entire cross-section of India's entertainment industry. ABCL's operations were mainstream commercial film production and distribution, audio cassettes and video discs, production and marketing of television software and celebrity and event management. Soon after the company was launched in 1996, the first film it produced was Tir Mir Sapni, which was a moderate success and launched the careers of actors like Arshad Warsi and Southern film star Simran. Amitabhite Bachchan, The Legend was published in 1999, To Be or Not To Be, Amitabhite Bachchan in 2004, Ayyub, The Legend in 2006, Amitabhite Bachchan, E.K.G. Vitkim Vedanti in 2006, Amitabhite, 
the making of a superstar in 2006, Looking for the Big B, Bollywood, Bachchan and Me in 2007 and, Bachchan Alia in 2009. In 1997, Bachchan attempted to make his acting comeback with the film Ritaya Data, produced by ABCL. Though Ritaya Data attempted to reprise Bachchan's earlier success as an action hero, the film was a failure both financially and critically. ABCL was the main sponsor of the 1996 Miss World Beauty pageant, Bangalore, but lost millions. The fiasco and the consequent legal battles surrounding ABCL and various entities after the event, coupled with the fact that ABCL was reported to have overpaid most of its top-level managers, eventually led to its financial and operational collapse in 1997. The company went into administration and was later declared a failed company by the Indian Industries Board. The Bombay High Court in April 1999, restrained Bachchan from selling off his Bombay bungalow Pratiksha and two flats till the pending loan recovery cases of Kanara Bank were disposed of. Bachchan had, however, pleaded that he had mortgaged his bungalow to raise funds for his company. Politics Television Appearances Voice Acting Humanitarian Causes Bachchan attempted to revive his acting career, and eventually had commercial success with Bade Mayan Chote Mayan and Major Saab, and received positive reviews for Sor Yavan Sham, but other films such as Lal Badshah and Hindustan Ki Kazam were box office failures. In 2000, Amitabhite Bachchan appeared in Yash Chopra's box office hit. Mohabatine, directed by Aditya Chopra. He played a stern, older figure that rivaled the character of Shah Rukh Khan. His role won him his third Filmfare Best Supporting Actor award. Other hits followed, with Bachchan appearing as an older family patriarch in E.K. Rishtat, The Bond of Love, Kabhai Kushi Kabhai Gum, and Back Bon. As an actor, he continued to perform in a range of characters, receiving critical praise for his performances in Axe, Ankan, Keiki, and Dev. His performance in Axe won him his first Filmfare Critics Award for Best Actor. One project that did particularly well for Bachchan was Sanjay Leela Bonsali S. Black. The film starred Bachchan as an aging teacher of a deaf blind girl and followed their relationship. His performance was unanimously praised by critics and audiences and won him his second National Film Award for Best Actor, his fourth Filmfare Best Actor Award and his second Filmfare Critics Award for Best Actor. Taking advantage of this resurgence, Amitabhite began endorsing a variety of products and services, appearing in many television and billboard advertisements. In 2005 and 2006, he starred with his son Abhishek in the films Bunty or Babli, The Godfather Tribute Sarkar, and Kabhai Alvita Na Kenna. All of them were successful at the box office. His later releases in 2006 and early 2007 were Babol, Ikalavya and Nishavd which failed to do well at the box office but his performances in each of them were praised by critics. In May 2007, two of his films Chinikam and the multi-star Shootout at Lakhandwala were released. Shootout at Lakhandwala did well at the box office and was declared a hit in India, while Chinikam picked up after a slow start and was a success. A remake of his biggest hit Sholai, entitled Ramgopal Varma Ki Aig, released in August of that same year and proved to be a major commercial failure in addition to its poor critical reception. The year also marked Bachchan's first appearance in an English-language film, Ritaparno Gosh's The Last Lear, 
CO starring Arjun Rampal and Prady Zinta. The film premiered at the 2007 Toronto International Film Festival on September 9, 2007. He received positive reviews from critics who hailed his performance as his best ever since Black. Bachchan was slated to play a supporting role in his first international film, Shant Aram, directed by Myra Nair and starring Hollywood actor Johnny Depp in the lead. The film was due to begin filming in February 2008 but due to the writer's strike, was pushed to September 2008. The film is currently shelved indefinitely. Vivek Sharma's Bhuthnath, in which he plays the title role as a ghost, was released on May 9, 2008. Sarkar Raj, the sequel of the 2005 film Sarkar, released in June 2008 and received a positive response at the box office. Pa, which released at the end of 2009 was a highly anticipated project as it saw him playing his own son Abhishek's progeria affected 13-year-old son, and it opened to favorable reviews, particularly towards Bachchan's performance and was one of the top grossing films of 2009. It won him his third National Film Award for Best Actor and fifth Filmfare Best Actor Award. In 2010, he debuted in Malayalam film through Kandahar, directed by Major Ravi and CO starring Mohanlal. The film was based on the hijacking incident of the Indian Airlines Flight 814. Bachchan declined any remuneration for this film. In 2013 he made his Hollywood debut in The Great Gatsby making a special appearance opposite Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire. In 2014, he played the role of the friendly ghost in the sequel Bhuthnath Returns. The next year, he played the role of a grumpy father suffering from chronic constipation in the critically acclaimed Piku which was also one of the biggest hits of 2015. A review in Daily News and Analysis summarized Bachchan's performance as the heart and soul of Piku clearly belonged to Amitabite Bachchan who is in his elements. His performance in Piku, without doubt, finds a place among the top ten in his illustrious career. Rachel Saltz wrote for the New York Times, Piku, an offbeat Hindi comedy, would have you contemplate the intestines and mortality of one Bashkar Banerjee and the actor who plays him, Amitabhite Bachchan. Bashkar's life and conversation may revolve around his constipation and fussy hypochondria, but there's no mistaking the scene-stealing energy that Mr. Bachchan, India's erstwhile angry young man, musters for his new role of cranky old man. Well-known Indian critic Rajiv Masand wrote on his website, Bachchan is pretty terrific as Bashkar, who reminds you of that oddball uncle that you nevertheless have a soft spot for. He bickers with the maids, harrows his hapless helper, and expects that Piku stay unmarried so she can attend to him. At one point, to ward off a possible suitor, he casually mentions that his daughter isn't a virgin, that she's financially independent and sexually independent too. Bachchan embraces the character's many idiosyncrasies, never once slipping into caricature while all along delivering big laughs thanks to his spot-on comic timing. The Guardian summed up, Bachchan seizes upon his cranky character part, making Bashkar as garrulously funny in his theories on caste and marriage as his system is backed up. The performance won Bachchan his fourth National Film Award for Best Actor and his third Filmfare Critics Award for Best Actor. In 2016, he appeared in the women-centric courtroom drama film Pink which was highly praised by critics and with an increasingly good word of mouth, was a resounding success at the domestic and overseas box office. Bachchan's performance in the film received acclaim. 
According to Raja Sen of Redif.com, Amitabhite Bachchan, a retired lawyer suffering from bipolar disorder, takes up cudgels on behalf of the girls, delivering courtroom blows with pugilistic grace. Like we know from Prakash Mehra movies, into each life some Bachchan must fall. The girls hang on to him with incredulous desperation, and he bats for them with all he has. At one point Meenal hangs by Bachchan's elbow, words entirely unnecessary. Bachchan towers through pink the way he bellows etc. is alone worth having the heavy hitter at play but there are softer moments like one where he appears to have dozed off in court, or where he lays his head by his convalescent wife's bedside and needs his hair ruffled and his conviction validated. Writing for Hindustan Times Noted film critic and author Anupama Chopra said of Bachchan's performance, a special salute to Amitabhite Bachchan, who imbues his character with a tragic majesty. Bachchan towers in every sense, but without a hint of showboating. Meena Iyer of the Times of India wrote, the performances are pitch perfect with Bachchan leading the way. Writing for NDTV Troy Ribeiro of Indo-Asian News Service stated, Amitabhite Bachchan as Deepak Segal, the aged defense lawyer, shines as always, in a restrained, but powerful performance. His histrionics come primarily in the form of his well-modulated baritone, conveying his emotions and of course, from the well-written lines. Mike McCahill of The Guardian remarked, among an electric ensemble, Tapsi Panu, Kirta Kuleri, and Andrea Terriang give unwavering voice to the girls' struggles, Amitabhite Bachchan brings his moral authority to bear as their sole legal ally. In 2017, he appeared in the third installment of the Sarkar film series, Ram Gopal Varma S. Sarkar III. He is also filming Thugs of Hindustan with A. Amir Khan, Katrina Kaif, and Fatima Sana Sheikh which is set for release in November 2018. He will see O star with Rishi Kapoor in 102 Not Out, an upcoming comedy drama film directed by Umesh Shukla based on a Gujarati play of the same name written by Samaya Joshi. This will release in May 2018 and will reunite him with Kapoor on screen after a gap of 27 years. In October 2017, it was announced that Bachchan will appear in Ian Mukherjee's Brahm Astra, alongside Ranbir Kapoor and Ali Abat. Business Investments In 1984, Bachchan took a break from acting and briefly entered politics in support of longtime family friend, Rajiv Gandhi. He contested Allahabad's seat of 8th Lok Sava against H. N. Bahuguna, former chief minister of Uttar Pradesh and won by one of the highest victory margins in general election history. His political career, however, was short lived, he resigned after three years calling politics a cesspool. The resignation followed the implication of Bachchan and his brother in the Beaufort scandal by a newspaper, which he vowed to take to court. Bachchan was eventually found not guilty of involvement in the ordeal. He was framed in the scam and falsely alleged. This was cleared by Swedish police chief Sten Lindström. His old friend, Amar Singh, helped him during the financial crisis caused by the failure of his company, ABCL. Thereafter Bachchan started supporting the Samajwadi Party, the political party to which Amar Singh belonged. Furthermore, Jaya Bachchan joined the Samajwadi Party and represented the party as an MP in the Rajya Sava. Bachchan has continued to do favors for the Samajwadi Party including appearing in advertisements and political campaigns. These activities have recently got him into trouble in the Indian courts for false claims after a previous incident of submission of legal papers by him, 
stating that he is a farmer. A 15-year press ban against Bachchan was imposed during his peak acting years by Stardust and some of the other film magazines. In defense, Bachchan claimed to have banned the press from entering his sets until late 1989. Awards and Honors Memorials Selected Filmography Bachchan has been accused of using the slogan Blood for Blood in the context of the 1984 anti-Sikh riots. Bachchan has denied the allegation. In October 2014, Bachchan was summoned by a court in Los Angeles for allegedly instigating violence against the Sikh community. In 2000, Bachchan hosted the first season of Kaun Bainiga Kroor Patti, the Indian adaptation of the British television game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. The show was well received. A second season followed in 2005, but its run was cut short by Star Plus when Bachchan fell ill in 2006. In 2009, Bachchan hosted the third season of the reality show Big Boss. In 2010, Bachchan hosted the fourth season of KBC. The fifth season started on August 15, 2011 and ended on November 17, 2011. The show became a massive hit with audiences and broke many TRP records. CNN-IBN awarded Indian of the Year Entertainment to Team KBC and Bachchan. The show also grabbed all the major awards for its category. Bachchan continued to host KBC until 2017. The sixth season was also hosted by Bachchan, commencing on September 7, 2012 broadcast on Sony TV and received the highest number of viewers thus far. Explanatory Notes In 2014, he debuted in the fictional Sony Entertainment Television TV series titled Yud playing the lead role of a businessman battling both his personal and professional life. Bachchan is known for his deep, baritone voice. He has been a narrator, a playback singer, and presenter for numerous programs. Renowned film director Satyajit Ray was so impressed with Bachchan's voice that he decided to use Bachchan as the narrator in his 1977 film Shatranj K. Kaleri. Bachchan lent his voice as a narrator to the 2001 movie Lagan which was a super hit. In 2005, Bachchan lent his voice to the Oscar-winning French documentary March of the Penguins, directed by Luc Jacquet. He also has done voiceover work for the following movies. Bachchan has been involved with many social causes. For example, he donated 11 lakh to clear the debts of nearly 40 beleaguered farmers in Andhra Pradesh and 30 lakh to clear the debts of some 100 Vidarbha farmers. In 2010, he donated 11 lakh to Rizal Pukhuti S Foundation for a medical center at Kachi, and he has given 2.5 lakh to the family of Delhi policeman Subash Chan Tomar who died after succumbing to injuries during a protest against gang rape protest after the 2012 Delhi gang rape case. He founded the Hatavantrai Bachchan Memorial Trust, named after his father in 2013. Bachchan was made a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador for the Polio Eradication Campaign in India in 2002. In 2013, he and his family donated 25 lakh to a charitable trust, Plan India, that works for the betterment of young girls in India. He also donated 11 lakh to the Maharashtra Police Welfare Fund in 2013. Bachchan was the face of the Save Our Tigers campaign that promoted the importance of tiger conservation in India. He supported the campaign by PETA in India to free Sunder, 
a 14-year-old elephant who was chained and tortured in a temple in Kolhapur, Maharashtra. In 2014, it was announced that he had recorded his voice and lent his image to the Hindi and English language versions of the TeachAIDS software, an international HIV-AIDS prevention education tool developed at Stanford University. Amitabhite Bachchan has invested in many upcoming business ventures. In 2013, he bought a 10% stake in Just Dial from which he made a gain of 4,600%. He holds a 3.4% equity in Stampede Capital, a financial technology firm specializing in cloud computing for financial markets. The Bachchan family also bought shares worth $252,000 in Meridian Tech. A consulting company in U.S. recently they made their first overseas investment in ZIDDU.com, a cloud-based content distribution platform. Batchton was named in the Panama Papers and Paradise Papers, leaked confidential documents relating to offshore investment. Apart from National Film Awards, Film Fair Awards, and other competitive awards which Bachchan won for his performances throughout the years, he has been awarded several honors for his achievements in the Indian film industry. In 1991, he became the first artist to receive the Film Fair Lifetime Achievement Award, which was established in the name of Raj Kapoor. Bachchan was crowned as Superstar of the Millennium in 2000 at the Film Fair Awards. In 1999, Bachchan was voted the greatest star of stage or screen in a BBC Your Millennium online poll. The organization noted that many people in the Western world will not have heard of, is a reflection of the huge popularity of Indian films. In 2001, he was honored with the Actor of the Century Award at the Alexandria International Film Festival in Egypt in recognition of his contribution to the world of cinema. Many other honors for his achievements were conferred upon him at several international film festivals, including the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2010 Asian Film Awards. In June 2000, he became the first living Asian to have been modeled in wax at London's Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Another statue was installed in New York in 2009, Hong Kong in 2011, Bangkok in 2011, Washington, D.C. in 2012, and Delhi, in 2017. In 2003, he was conferred with the honorary citizenship of the French town of Deauville. The Government of India awarded him with the Padma Shri in 1984, the Padma Bhushan in 2001 and the Padma Vibhushan in 2015. France's highest civilian honour, the Knight of the Legion of Honour, was conferred upon him by the French government in 2007 for his exceptional career in the world of cinema and beyond. On July 27, 2012, Bachchan carried the Olympic torch during the last leg of its relay in London's Southwark. Several books have been written about Bachchan. Bachchan himself wrote a book in 2002, Soul Curry for You and Me An Empowering Philosophy That Can Enrich Your Life In the early 80s, Bachchan authorized the use of his likeness for the comic book character Supremo in a series titled The Adventures of Amitabhite Bachchan. In May 2014, La Trobe University in Australia named a scholarship after Bachchan. He was named Hottest Vegetarian by PETA India in 2012. He won the title of Asia's Sexiest Vegetarian in a contest poll run by PETA Asia. Amitabhite Bachchan Sports Complex in Allahabad managed by UP Sports Directorate is named after him. Also a road is named after him as Amitabhite Bachchan Road in his hometown, 
Allahabad. A government senior secondary school in Sci-Fi, Etawa, Amitabite Bachchan Government Inter College, Sci-Fi, established in 1997 is also named after him. There is a temple in Kolkata, where Amitabite is worshipped as a god. The tiles of the temple are adorned with the words J. Shri Amitabite, in place of the idol, you see his photo and a pair of white shoes that the actor wore in his movie, Agnipathy.